How you doing folks and welcome back to my chat today. We got a few couple of bits off of eBay and uh, another videotape, classic videotape. Like I said in the previous videos, they're going up in value so click what you want. Don't get them all. Um, it's not me to advise you to tell you what you got to do but like you saw in the couple of weeks ago, the value of the tape's going up and uh, I thought I'd get what couple what I want. So yeah, I've got a few which I'm going to spread out in the videos among other stuff what I've got here. So. Let's crack on after this. Anyway, folks, here we go. VHS. Day of the Dead. Classic George A. Romero's film. First he done Night of the Living Dead. Then he done Dawn of the Dead, which is an absolute classic. And I think this is an under statement of a film because it doesn't really get recognized that much but it's gory as fucking hell if you've never seen day of the dead get day of the dead absolute wicked blinding the gore in this is oh mate it's really chilling <laughs> If you don't like zombie films, then uh, don't watch it. But if you're not into gore and that, don't watch it because it will turn your stomach a few, few bits of this. But if you're a strong, hardcore person like me, loves the special effects, absolute wicked. Get Day of the Dead. It, is, it doesn't really get rated that much, but I think it's an all-time classic up there with Night and Dawn. Um, really, really good. It's like a, a group of survivors they're an underground like cave and they're doing it they got a few scientists testing um another zombie to try and bring him back as human called bub and uh they're trying to trying to uh get him back and stuff and it's and the soldiers are trying to argue with the survivors in there and the test people and stuff and they start trying to mutinate the cave and then they split up into groups <clears throat> and then they go on a rampage and one of them's getting pushed around one of the soldiers but he's on the other side of the good people and all hell breaks loose but I ain't going to tell you if you've never seen Day of the Dead but Day of the Dead absolute classic VHS it's the second release the one the other one what I wanted is a big box but um, that's the closest I can get it was a tenner to buy back in the day now you can pick this up for about four or five quid you don't know how much is going to go up in value because it is an all-time classic like night and dawn <clears throat> i would prefer dawn but day is doesn't really get rate that much but it's is gory as fuck so uh day to the dead absolute wicked there you go so i'll wait that down <clears throat> and now we've got a action man i've got to get a headless action man we've got a few clothes and bits to uh dress them up with so I picked this up off of eBay. Oh, I haven't said this for a while. What do we do with this? We don't want this, do we? No, we don't want this, do we? I've missed doing that. <laughs> um, anyway, so we've got a headless action man. An eagle eyes action man. Let's get him out of the old, uh, the old bag. A little bit loose on the arms and on the feet, so it's a little bit wonky fight. Probably can tighten it up somehow. Glued leg, but it doesn't really matter. The hands and the grip, the hands are gripping all right, so that's pretty good. Um, it's a 1978 version, so that's pretty cool for an action man. Still slightly stands up a little bit, so uh, can't really do it on this little plastic thing here. It does stand up. Has got shoes. If I these shoes on, it will stand up. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so that's the uh, action man. A little bit loose, but doesn't really matter. I can fix that. It's got his neck comb and his head. So let's uh, get a baggy. So neck comb and a head fits it up there. Now I can put it back together again. Yeah. So uh, got a little bit balding and needs a bit of a tidy up, but um, his eyes are working and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And he's got his neck comb, so that can go up like that. 
and then you can flip back on his head like this towards my collection. Let's put that in the bag. Come on, put that in the bag. Bag out the bag. So that goes in now, so that's pretty good. So I can fix him up and that will go uh, upstairs with all the others. I'll leave for you there. And we have an Action Man Commander. Original Wax Man Commander, Eagle Eyes. A little bit tay on the hair there, but it's almost pretty cool. Original gripping hands, not really floppy at all. He's got his little pistol in his uh, belt there. He's got his camouflage bits there, his trousers, got his cape, cap, cape. Uh, got his jumper in there, boots. Really, really nice. Let's put his arm. And it speaks as well. But I think it's a little bit fast for speaking, so uh, I'll give it a go. Let's get the old. Uh, String out, Mick. Get the old string out, mate. Oh, <clears throat> so here we go. I think it talks really fast. Oh, let me just try and slow it down if I can. So it ain't too bad. I've got to really hold it and then go down. But if you open it up. Where the mechanism is in the uh, in the voice box. If you just move it over, because it's like little notches on little little like blocks. If you, I think if you move the notch down or up, then it goes faster or slower. Um, which I've seen on videos, people fixing the, the back of these of uh, the voice boxes. So that's what I want to do. So it's, so it's still a talker. <clears throat> and I remember having this one. As a kid from the birthday, and I think it was about 1985, 86, and I, I had this, not this one, but one exactly the same as this back in the day, and I had that for my uh, birthday in 1986, which I was about 11, 12. So yeah, that's pretty good, and it always reminds me of like one of my best birthday presents I had. So I thought, so I've got to get it again. The style, the talk, the clothes, just brings me back to my uh, childhood days. And that's one of my favourite ones I've got, so that's pretty good. Nice talking one. So that's one of my action mans I've got. Pretty smart, I like the old little gun in there. And the uniform's wicked. It's a SAS talking commander. Bit it hasn't got the, uh, the original um, little tag, but it's got a silver one, so that'll do. And that's, that's quite a smart, smart dress for uh, an action man for, what, 78? That came out. I got it in, what, 85, 86, so uh, it's pretty good, I like that one. And last but not least, we have, <coughs> is it the um, Motu vehicle, uh, Batarang or um, Bashasaurus? So, yeah, that's Bashasaurus, Motu, pretty good. It's head opens like that. Head comes off if you want, or you can fit it on again, so uh, it's pretty good, and you can clip it on. Sometimes they don't come with the heads. And you've got a little button there, and you press it, and it goes up and down. You can whack it like that, fast splash. So, uh, yeah, what we need is a figure. So if I go like that, let me get one of my custom figures down, what I made ages ago, which, a, which is a Wonder Bread He-Man. I made this Wonder Bread He-Man. You saw one of my videos ages and ages ago. I made that, painted the boots, the hair, and the body and stuff. So yeah, that's my vintage He-Man, custom to Wonder Bread. So I can put him in, is it that way? I think it goes in like that. So there's my Wonder Bread He-Man inside Bassasaurus. And uh, they can whack your enemies going along. So you can go along like that and you can whack them. Oh, it's hard because it's on a bit of a plastic at the moment. You can whack them like that to knock them down. That's pretty good. So I won't do my action man because I don't want to beat you up. But yeah, you can drive along and hit it like that. So that's pretty good. 
has my Bassasaurus with my custom Wonder Bread He-Man in it. Pretty cool. I like that. They have they just brought out a Motu Origins uh, Wonder Bread He-Man, but I think it's limited. I'm not too sure, but there was something going on about it. What I read about uh, when I was off, and I think it's quite pricey. Fine. I don't know if it came out on an original release or not. I don't know, but I've seen the value of it. It's gone up in price. <coughs> but that's my Wonder Bread He-Man I made ages ago. It's got a bit of um, Fisto's legs and body, He-Man's head and arms, and uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. And that was one of Zodak's kind of um, variant armour, because Zodak had a red one, and, I, and there was a black one, I thought I'd put it on the Wonder Bread, which, because it says W there, it's supposed to be like Wonder. So, so yeah, I've made that. So yeah, today, weren't too bad folks, you know what I mean? So we had the Day of the Dead, Giorgio Romero uh, zombie film, the third one in the series. He had a, a headless action man, Eagle Eyes, which I'll fix up. We had the, the classic SAS Commander, which brought me back to my childhood, so I thought, oh, I've got to get this, because it's like one of the best perfectly present boy back in the day. But I had to get this again to reminisce. Let's give it one more pull. Advance in single file. Enemy tanks approaching. What's the password? Give me some cover. And I think he said no, another a phrase, but yeah, it's about four or five phrases in it. And uh, that was that. And uh, Bashasaurus with my Wonder Red He-Man in. It's pretty good. So that is my uh, haul for today. Uh, next week we might uh, get some more videos and a few other toys we'll uh, uh, review and stuff. But it's, it's a hot day today again. Oh, baking up, that's why I got my old drinks over there. But thanks for watching Mike's chat and I'll see you next time. Cheers, what do you reckon? Ace Man, Bashasaurus, Band of Dead. What else do you want? See you later. There's many ways you can follow me on social media. Instagram, Mike's chat, Facebook group, even subscribe to this page. Even click that notification bell for the next video content coming up. Or go to the about, email me if you've got anything to give away. Thanks very much and see you next time.